quick demonstration on how to create a split call extractor. Handy for getting bearings out when you've got a double blind housing. The best thing to do is to go to B&Q or another hardware store and get a piece of tubing that's the right size. If you take one of the bearings with you, put the two of them together, you'll be able to see. Now don't worry if it seems to be too tight because once you cut into it obviously it will alter the diameter of the tube. Now I just want to get a length of this tube. It's too small. Let's put this into here. I cut a small section of it off. Now don't try and cut the tube before you've cut this section off because we have to put a flange onto it to grip the edge of the race. When it comes to sawing, you're just about taking your time. I wouldn't try and rush it. Once you get to this point, before you start to cut it, you need to create a flange so that it'll grip the edge of the race. This may seem like a bit of a nuisance, but it's a lot better than faffing about with the mains. Now once you've got this done, all you do is take your hammer and you tap it around the edge of it. Look at it, make sure you've created a flange around the edge. Then all you do is do two cuts. Maybe we'll get away with just the one cup, but I'm just going to put two into this. This should be able to slip through that way. Once you've got it sitting like that, obviously you'll have another bearing sitting right there and you'll have a spacer. You push it past the spacer so that it sits about there and then what you do is you just get something to jam into that and spread it open. Once you do that, you can just put it back into the vise and press the bearing ring out. It should just go like this.